Hallelujah, glory to God. You're welcome to Prophetic Intercession with Amel. Always an honor to bring you prophetic messages from the Lord. And if this is the first time you're seeing me, special welcome to you. Thank you so much for joining. Hallelujah. They are all talking about your character. They are all talking about your love life. They are all talking about how you carry yourself and how you go about your your activities it is very important that as a christian you you have to live a life what emulating is very important because there are people who are watching you they may never come to tell you we admire you they may never come to tell you we look up to you but a situation is going to arise someday and they're going to tell you a lot about you and you're going to be amazed how much they knew about you and they said nothing the same thing happened to Ruth. The Bible in the book of Ruth chapter 3, verse 10 and 11. This is Boaz talking to Ruth. He says, uh, the Bible says, Then he said to her, May you be blessed by the Lord, my daughter. You have made your last kindness better than the first. For you have not gone after young men, whether rich or poor. Now, my daughter, do not be afraid. I will do for you whatever you ask. Since all my people in the city know that you are a woman of excellence. All my people in the city know that you are a woman of excellence. Why would Boaz say that? Because he had heard them speak about her. He himself, he had that, 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 um, that notion about her. And probably you, he, he's equally heard people talking. So he wasn't hesitant when, when, when Ruth made the move as instructed by Naomi. Boaz wasn't hes hesitant because Boaz knew she was a noble woman. She had a good character. She was a subject of discussion for good in that city. So it made it easier for Boaz to accept her as a wife. Like I said, it's very important to be of good character, to have a good reputation as a Christian because your life preaches more than the Bible will ever do. You are the only Bible some people are ever going to have the opportunity to read because they see you as a Christian. If you behave in an inappropriate manner, they are going to think that is what Christianity is all about. But when you behave in a way that, you know, baffles their mind. They are going to love God and want to know him better. Hallelujah. May the Lord bless you and keep you, cause his face to shine upon you. May he be gracious to you and give you peace in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. God bless you abundantly. Shalom.